Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Finally, finally I have my medication in Sweden. <laughs> what a past week that was. Last week, first day, I was at the doctor and well, she wanted to put me back on MTX. I kind of understand the reasoning of why, because I think a lot of people get put on it and it's like a long-term treatment, but it's unfortunately always the first thing everyone tries and it has so much side effects, which this thing in comparison, at least for me, does not have. At least no side effects that are instantly feelable and it is more easy than MTX. You don't need to take folic acid in addition you can have some babies when you take this thing everything is better with biologica than with mtx and the only disadvantage that you have using cosentix i don't know how it is for the other ones but i guess it's the same thing they are way more expensive yeah i paid 2500 something crowns for this however i already said it in the older videos it is limited to this amount and not limited for each time I buy it now. No, it is limited for a whole year. So I have spent 2,500 for four of these, but I would also have spent 2,500 for two of these or maybe even one. I'm not sure because this is the limit that you can pay in a year in Sweden. So now I have reached the limit. So everything I will be taking in the next time, like the next recipes, it's all going to be free for me. Yes, of course, it is a one-time payment that hits really hard. I spent over 200 euros just to get this right now. It feels weird, but actually it was the most comfortable investment that I have made without really having any thoughts about not doing it. I even have a bit more thoughts of investing 250 euros in the tesla transaction than investing that in here because this is for my health this is my future it's time to inject this nice stuff into my body and if you want to see how i inject this thing into myself check out this video right there because there the last time i used this it's like six weeks ago now i know two weeks too long or at least one week too long and i really hope it is going to help me because I'm on painkillers, I'm on 5 milligram cortisone, I need this and I need it now. I don't want to describe how it works again, I have again some disinfection here. It's always the most important to disinfect your leg, <laughs> to not make it worse <laughs> because then of course you could have some not so nice side effects, red spots on the leg or wherever you inject this. I think you can also do it in the stomach but it's not really what I like to do. It just feels a bit weird because you have so much, I don't know, fat and things in your stomach. On the upper part of your leg, it always feels a bit more like that makes sense to do. Liquid looks good in there. It pops off. Is the needle thicker than in Germany? It looks a bit thicker. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, instant blood, instant blood. Danger, danger. I think I've hit something. It's bleeding, it's bleeding, and I don't have anything here. Put some pressure on. While I'm currently bleeding, it's time to talk about my day. Well, today was really a weird working day. Because it was the day after the holiday, a lot of people just decided to not work. They took a day off. And first of all, the company was really empty. And second of all, because so many people were gone, not only in our company, but also like in the whole Sweden, it was impossible to get things done if you needed to talk to someone somewhere else. So I have done some documentations and it was so boring again. But still the day kind of passed. That's in it's always interesting because when I think about it, how much I have done, it really feels like I've done nothing, but it always takes time to think about things and to plan and it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I've just realized that. Yeah, but 
I hope I can use this weekend now for the good. Okay, but enough about work. There's one last thing that I want to talk to you about and that is the Tesla situation. I was actually hoping to buy the car today, the latest. However, my money got stuck during transaction from Germany to Sweden. Yeah, so I basically had to give reasons. I just hope that this is not going to be more trouble. I really, really hold my thumbs, cross my fingers and just hope that on Monday that I can then start the whole procedure. Ah, yeah, and then I have a car. And then I can take you guys on trips. Yes, I have scheduled to go to Germany in like five weeks. Will I get the car in the next five weeks? We will see. So that's basically the first road trip I'm going to do is back to Germany, to my family, my friends. And from there, I will take a road trip to maybe Norway. But I also thought about maybe just going through Denmark because then I don't have like this crazy driving areas because I live in Sweden. I don't have to go to Norway right now on the same year. We will see how it goes. It just depends on how I feel. I would say that is the end of the video. I st only have 10 seconds left. So have a wonderful day and we will see each other back in tomorrow's video. No idea what's going to happen. But until then, bye bye. Bye bye.